hello hello and welcome to the stamp around uk vlog hop it's a video hop of various demonstrators in the uk bringing you something to inspire you so this month's theme is to uh, be inspired by another stampin up demonstrator and i have chosen somebody who i think is fairly new on the scene forgive me if i'm wrong but anyway her name is maheswari raja guru and she's a demonstrator in australia and i just fell in love with her style as soon as i kind of started to look at what she did and um and yeah see what beautiful cards that she makes now i've just looked at her instagram um uh, account and i will link in the description below um to her instagram account and she does have 487 posts so she she's been around quite a while i'm assuming um just maybe i just didn't discover her until very recently so that's bad on me anyway um what i find really beautiful about her work is that she'll usually choose a focal point she'll have a like um, usually it's a flower not always but usually a, a floral and then contrast it with a really beautiful kind of background but the background will be often a singular color now that i'm you know i'm just generalizing here it's not the case every single time but generally she knows how to contrast the focal point with the background but then when you look closely at the background you'll see that there'll be lots of texture as well and so that's what i'm going to i'm aiming to kind of create a card in her style so here i have the uh, starry sky cardstock this is a card base then i'm going to have a matting layer of just a piece of cardstock that's just a little bit smaller and then i've got this which is the designer series paper that you can get that's available in all the in colors so the first thing i'm going to do is actually do a little bit more work to the background and i've got the gorgeous um this is the quatrefoil tile uh, embossing folder and i want to add more ink some ink sorry because i want to add more texture to the to the card that i'm putting through so i'm just putting some ink there onto my embossing folder and i'm going to run it through my machine and um you'll you'll get to see how gorgeous that oh, i want to flip that over actually so it's the right oh no right way up there we go right and ta-da! Just like that, you can see that the pattern shows up even better after putting that ink on. Right, so the other thing I noticed about a lot of her designs is that she's not afraid to go in and distress the paper, which I do love doing. Those of you who followed my channel for a while will know that, you know, I'm quite happy to get the old scissors out and give my paper a bit of a, a distress. So I'm just going to go in there and do that. I don't have to necessarily do it absolutely everywhere, but just giving it a little bit of a... There we go. And I'm just going to maybe give some areas a little bit of a extra fold. Just to give it a extra bit of kind of distressing there. So I'm just kind of pushing the card and giving it a really good crease. So let's start doing the layers. So the other thing that I've teamed with this uh, colour is the, I've used some of the papers from Tea Boutique, the Tea Boutique Designer Series paper. So I'm getting my little crib sheet here. It's this one here and it's uh, product 158659. And it's a collection of really pretty papers that's all around the theme of like tea drinking. And I managed to cut out some really cute little images from there. So weirdly, there's basically hardly any stamping to this card. For me, anyway, it's a bit weird. But um, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to love it, nevertheless. I mean, we have put ink all over this piece of paper. So, I mean, technically, it's all been stamped. So just sticking that down. And what I did was just I put glue. I didn't put glue right to the edges because I actually want some of this paper to be able to curl back a little bit. So then I've got my layer of DSP, which I've already pre-distressed. And again, I'm not putting glue to the edge. I'm just popping it about a centimetre or so in so that I can, again, 
Ooh, glue's moving. Okay, need to rub that down a bit harder. So because Tombow is wet glue, sometimes you need to just give it an extra bit of a, a press and a few, a few seconds for it to dry fast. And I'm going back in there and adding a little bit of distress then to the edges of my DSP. Right, I have also used these gorgeous dies and I did have the, I did have the folder just a minute ago. Da, 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 where's it gone? Here we go. The designer tags dies and you've got a collection of various tags there and I have chosen to use this one and this one. Now this one cuts out the tag and this one cuts out a tag but also pops some lacy like holes that you just need to go and uh, pop out some of the, oh, my pick tool here, pop out some of the little holes there to make it look as if it's a bit like Broderie Anglais, it's so pretty. So um, I'm not going to bother doing the bottom ones because that's going to get covered in a second. So there we go. So that's that lovely tag and that teamed up on top of there just works perfectly because they are they are literally made to match, as you can see, like that. All right, I'm going to start sticking all that together in a second. But before I do that, I'm also going to show you what else I cut out using the dies from that set. There's a couple of butterflies in the same starry sky. And then there's also some really pretty leaves from there. Then from the Tea Boutique Designer Series paper, I have cut out this adorable. Now this, I had to put my extra special strong glasses to do this um, and my uh, snips. I fussy cut out this gorgeous teapot so that's going to go somewhere here and I've also cut out a teacup and I've been very conscious of choosing colours that are um, going to show up against the starry sky now because we've got a little bit of starry sky shading uh, on the back here um, I did cut out oh and oh I'm gonna have to look for it in a second I did actually cut an additional little bit of greenery that was going to go behind that teapot anyway I'll, I'll do a little search for that in a second anyway I've got my little cup and then look at this adorable lemon slice that was in some of the papers as well and I've cut a slit in the lemon slice because I'm going to pop that onto my little cup in a second and then also this adorable let's just get it to focus little envelope with um, bits and pieces uh, sort of coming out of the envelope so I the idea is I'm going to kind of pop those nest those on a bed of kind of bluey leaves and then I wanted some twine that wasn't um, didn't have the white in it because I didn't want the white to be kind of like super harsh against the background of the blue so what I've done is actually cut three pieces I've cut from the uh, this twine pack here and I've separated the color out from the white so I've actually now got three strands of just plain white that I can use for another day and I'm going to just keep that all together so where is that little leaf thing all right, so I've had a pat down of my table and I can't find it anywhere. So I'm going to have to fussy cut another little uh, bit of leafage. So, I mean, it's super tiny, this um, <laughs> these little uh, pieces, but uh, it's I think it's worth doing. So I'm just going to cut this out really quickly. And um, so I can add that to the back of my teapot to make it show up a little bit more because as I said, the teapot color is, it's its kind of the, that, that lovely turquoise, um, the Tahitian Tide, but also it's got starry sky in the back. So I just want to pop an, another leaf there just to, um, actually I know what I might do because um, I've got to pop the teacup around here. I'm actually going to be covering up that leaf section there. So I don't actually need it. And I've, I've gone to such great lengths to cut it out that I'm going to cut it off and use it in the section up there again to highlight the teapot so when it comes to this kind of like really fine card making it's all about trying to make every single element of your card show up and sing because if you're going to go to such great lengths to um, do lots of detail on a card you, you, you want everything to show up so I'm just going to stick now my um, lacy tag on 
and I'm just being mindful just to put glue in areas that are not going to show up. So I'll stick that onto there. There we go. And because I'm going to be doing a lot of... Oh, no, didn't want to stick. All right, come on. Come on, you know you want to. Don't want you falling off. There we go. So I'm going to be doing a lot of kind of clustering and I've still got my leaves to go on because this is almost like a back, a second backdrop really. Um, I've got my, my teapot to go on here. I think I'm going to stick this, rather than going down here, you know, I'm going to, I want to give it enough space to, to sit. Now I could use dimensionals, but I'm thinking because this is going to be quite layered, I don't necessarily want to start creating too much bulk already i think i will use dimensionals though for some of the the elements that i'm going to stick on all right as in the cutout sorry not the not the starry sky elements so i wanted a little bit of leafage there definitely want some leaves coming down like so this is why if you've got a pick tool it's good to use that instead of your fingers because it's very easy to get sticky fingers when trying to stick very fine pieces like this Ooh, have i just found oh no there's my little green leaves i cannot lose right pop that there stick that there right now i do think of having my butterflies sort of like flying off but i thought the scale was a bit weird because we've got this massive butterfly in this tiny uh, pot really the butterfly should be as tiny as some of those flowers so what I'm going to do is actually use them as a design element so I'm actually just going to tuck them into the background of my leaves as just another texture rather than trying to make them any kind of focal point because the focal point really is the teapot it is not the butterflies it's not the leaves it's not the beautiful background it really is all about the teapot and the, the little elements that I want to have show off now that's not to say the background is not important it is important it's just not the focal point so then i've got my lovely i've got so this is the tahitian tide thread then i've got some orchid oasis thread that i'm just kind of like scrumpling up and then dropping it onto here and then here's the starry sky thread too and just dropping it on and now i'm going to get some dimensionals she says can get them um, there we go uh to stick all my elements on and i'm just going to put loads of dimensionals so that everything holds together really really well oh i'm going to start again i'm just going to bin that one and start again <laughs> So to save a bit of time, I've put all the dimensionals on, even cut one of those small dimensionals into quarters just to add it to the, the little spout and then just down there on the little lemon slice. So I'm just going to add now my teapot to this lovely messy kind of section. Um, and I'm not going to forget, I've got the leaves ready to stick on in a second, but I'll do that after I've put these on. So I've got my teacup here that I think I might just... Um, I just want to put it behind this little lemon slice like that. Um, there we go. So that's my little teacup. And then this is an adorable little um, like envelope and with flowers coming out of it. So it just creates this gorgeous little kind of like scene of, I don't know, opening a, a letter while drinking tea and having lemon slices and all the rest of it. Of course it's all grey. And then I'm just going to stick then these tiny little leaves that I've got left here just behind the teapot because of the colour issue as I've already stated and then pop that behind there too and then just get my little pokey tool just to push that all down like so oh now i've just remembered <laughs> so 
the last thing I want to do, <laughs> it, was, it wasn't meant to be the last thing, it's only because I've forgotten, is I actually want to pop a little bit of colour behind, and the tiniest amount of colour, just behind some of these areas here. So I'm just going to cut down um, these strips. So again, these are from the that same paper pack, the the teapotty one. This is from the um, designer series paper. Sorry, the in color designer series paper pack, the in color pack. And this is Parakeet Party. And I wanted to put the tiniest slither of Parakeet Party just to pick up on some of the green that's used there. So this will actually just help to frame that section, this section here. So as I said, just want the tiniest little slither to poke through. Uh, where's my poke tool gone? I'm going to lift that up and push that down. Like so, and then get this one. Uh, I did do some distressing on this, so I can turn it the right way so I don't waste all that. Put that under there, bring the sun on it out a bit. And then just have that peeking through like that. And then I've already distressed the edge of this panel, so I'm just going to put this one on the left here. And because I put the glue further in, it means that I have still got a bit of wiggle room to be able to push elements in underneath. I might just have that showing a little bit more, just a tiny sliver, that yellow and white stripe. Love it. And then a tiny bit then. I'll try and pop it underneath the parakeet. Yeah, it's not going to go in any further. Don't think it wants to. Okay, that's fine. You can stay where you are. Just going to make you neat. There we go. I think what I can do is just pull back some of that yellow and white one. Stress that up a little bit more. Just pull that up a sec. Right. So there we go. Here is my card inspired by the amazing Maheshwari Raja Guru. Thank you so much for your beautiful shares that you do on Instagram and uh, all other social media. I will put a link in the description to her Instagram account, and of course. In the description will be all the other UK vlog hoppers. Go grab a cup of tea, literally, look, cup of tea. Uh, make it all great, maybe, with a slice of lemon. And uh, go and enjoy all the beautiful creations. Lots of love for now. Take care. Bye.